Hello Widget Watchers, welcome back to another video. In this video we are going to see, how we can create video player app in Flutter, like you can see here in this example when I'm tapping onto this play button, then the video gets start to play, and when I tap onto the pause button, then video is paused. So we are going to implement this feature in our app, so let's start. So here I have this empty project, now come to the pubspec.yaml file, and here add the video underscore player dependencies for video player, then tap onto this pub get option. Then just close this and then come to main dart file. So here I just have an app bar and empty center widget. Now come above here and here first create video player controller. So we have created that and make sure to add late here, because we are going to initialize them inside init state method. Okay now. Also create future type of variable which will going to help in the initializing the video controller and this will also work for our future builder. Okay now come here and here create the init state method. Okay now remove this comment and here first initialize the controller. So do this by using controller dot the source of video, for example here are several method by which we can play video, like you can play video from your asset folder by using asset or you can play a video from the user's device like using their local storage. So for that you need to use this file method. But in this video, we are going to play the video from the URL, so here we need to use network URL. Ok now this network URL needs a URL of our video, then we will convert it into URI. Ok so for that first here add URI, then add dot parse. Then here we need to add the URL of video. So in this video, I'm going to play this video so from here, just copy the URL of this, and you can see this is a beautiful video. Ok now come back to your IDE and above here create a string variable as URL, then add the video URL to it. Ok now error is gone. Now come below this line and here use initialize video player, then initialize this using your controller dot initialize. And also don't forget to use dispose method because, whenever you are creating any controller for anything, then you need to dispose it. Ok so I have disposed my controller. Now come into the build section and from here remove the center widget and here make use of future builder, ok then for future, add your initialize video player variable, ok then we need to add the builder inside this. So I have added that builder and this builder require context and snapshot. Snapshot is basically the data of this initialized video player, ok now here at the condition that if snapshot has the connection state equal to connection state dot done, so this mean that the video is loaded in our app, so I have used that, now here add the aspect ratio widget, so we are using aspect ratio because, whenever you play a video then video could have different aspect ratio, like 16 by 9 or 4 by 4 or anything. If we don't use aspect ratio in this case, then video will cover the whole available space and the video will going to cut out from the corners, which will not look very good. So that is why here we have added aspect ratio. Now you may ask from where we going to get this aspect ratio, so for getting the aspect ratio make use of controller, then value, and then aspect ratio. So this will return the aspect ratio of the current video. Ok now here add the child and for child add the center widget because we want to put our video in center of the screen, then add the child here, then here make use of video player widget. Ok then inside it add your video player contain controller, now there could be a case where internet is not available or the URL is not valid. So for handling that case here make an else statement and here just simply return a circular progress indicator. Ok now I guess that was it for video player, now let's add the controller part, so for that add the floating action button for playing pausing the video, so here I have added the floating action button, now here add the on pressed method of this button, then here first check that if video is playing then, then we need to pause the video, and id video is paused then we need to play the video, so here I've added the controller. Now come in the child section of this button, and then here add the icon, then inside it again add the condition that, if video is playing then we need to show the pause icon, and if the video is paused then we need to show the play icon. So yeah that was it, now if you save the code, then you can see our video is loaded, ok now when you tap onto this play button then video it started playing, and I don't know why our video is not coming in the center, 
So let's fix this so for fixing this remove center widget from here, and add wrap the aspect ration inside the center widget, now if you save the code, then you can see video is in center. But now this app bar is looking ugly. So let's also remove this app bar, now save the code and it is looking pretty much fine, now if you playing the video then video is getting played, but the play icon is not changed to pause icon, I guess there is an issue, let me quickly check this. So I have found the issue here. We haven't added the set state inside on pressed method. So let's add the set state, now, if you restart the application, then, yeah, now when the video is playing, then icon is changing accordingly. So yeah that was it for this video. Now if you have learned something new from this video then please give us a thumbs up, and please also comment down that how can I improve these tutorial quality, and yeah that was it.